Hi, this is John Ainsley from Doulos. In this short video, I'm going to be discussing practical deep learning, which is Doulos's new hands-on training class in the subject of deep learning. Let me start by just saying a few words about artificial intelligence versus machine learning versus deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of the wider topic of machine learning, and machine learning in turn is a subset of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a very broad field that's been around since the 1960s at least, and in general terms, artificial intelligence means making computers do things that would normally require human intelligence. Within that field of artificial intelligence, machine learning is a specific collection of mathematical algorithms that allow computers to learn certain specific tasks without being explicitly programmed to do those tasks. And deep learning, it turns out, is just a specific set of machine learning algorithms. And deep learning makes use of so-called deep neural networks. A neural network is a mathematical model that's inspired by animal brains. And a deep neural network in particular is a kind of neural network that consists of multiple layers, hence the term deep. And this particular training course that I'm discussing now focuses in particular on deep learning. The name of the course is Practical Deep Learning, and as it says here in this excerpt from the Doodles website, it's hands-on training in deep learning for engineers and programmers using Python, TensorFlow and Keras. I'll say more about what those terms mean in this video. It's offered as a face-to-face -face training class, and it comes in two flavours. You can either attend it as a full five-day class, or as a four-day class by omitting the first day. I'll say more about that in a few minutes. So why choose this particular training class in deep learning? Well, there are a lot of free materials available right now on the web on the topic of deep learning. Deep learning is a very new subject, and this subject is all being played out live on the web. So for sure, you can go out and teach yourself deep learning by trawling the web and finding a lot of free or low-cost materials. But the challenge really is knowing where to start, knowing what you need to learn, and knowing when you've finished, knowing when you've learned, to, learned enough. So although it's possible, perfectly possible to teach yourself deep learning off the web, it will probably take you quite a lot of time and you may not be sure when you've really got there. So as a specialist training provider, we at Doulos have been able to condense what you need to know to get started with deep learning into a five-day training class. So in five days, we can give you a really solid hands-on introduction to the subject of deep learning so that you'll be ready to go away and use deep learning for yourself on your projects. Are there reasons to choose this course? Well, Practical Deep Learning from Doulos is a hands-on training class from Doulos aimed at professionals working as engineers or working as computer programmers. So this is a hands-on course for practitioners where you'll learn to actually program the deep neural networks for yourselves. This course is not just a high-level overview or a management overview of deep learning, although if you attend practical deep learning, you'll certainly get an excellent overview of the subject. So this is not a course aimed at professional mathematicians or machine learning researchers. This is a course for programmers, for practitioners, for implementers who actually want to implement deep learning systems. Do refer to the course description on the Doulos website for a, a deeper description of this particular training course and why you would choose it. So without going into too much depth, let me describe for a few minutes what you will learn on practical deep learning. First of all, you'll learn how to use neural networks for solving regression problems and classification problems. Regression problems and classification problems are examples of supervised learning that deep learning is particularly suitable for. You'll also learn how to use convolutional neural networks for image classification. Image classification is one of the sweet spots for deep learning and one of the reasons that deep learning is growing in popularity so quickly. In particular, you'll learn how to use TensorFlow, TensorBoard and Keras. 
TensorFlow, TensorBoard, and Keras are three specific programming interfaces written in Python that are popular right now for deep learning. You'll also learn how to use other Python modules for deep learning, modules such as NumPy and Pandas, Matplotlib and SciPy, but the main packages that we're focusing on are TensorFlow, TensorBoard and Keras. This isn't just a beginner's class in deep learning. You'll also learn how to optimize and tune the performance of deep neural networks in order to get great implementations. We also look at how to prepare data sets for deep learning. And we also discuss more broadly how to manage the whole process around deep learning to make sure that you get effective results. Again, for more details on the course description, check out the Doulos website. I'll show you the URL at the end of this short video. There are some prerequisites for attending the practical deep learning training class. First of all, in the area of programming. Before attending this class, you need to know an object-oriented programming language. It doesn't particularly matter which one, but if you know any modern object-oriented programming language, you'll be in good shape. If you don't actually know an object-oriented programming language, but you're already a very confident programmer, we don't want to stop you attending the training class. So if you're highly confident in your own programming skills, but you don't happen to use object-oriented programming, you'll probably be fine. Again, refer to the course description for uh, where these prerequisites are spelt out in a bit more detail. When it comes to your programming skills, Python is going to be important. If you don't know Python, you definitely need to attend all five days of the training. So you'd enter the class at the beginning of day one, which is the Python Primer. If you already know Python, you may choose to skip day one and enter the training class at day two. Days two, three, four and five are really indivisible. There's no other entry point into the class, but you could attend, choose to either attend this as a four day class or a five day class. When you can come in on day two of the class, you should know Python and you should also know NumPy and Jupyter Notebook. If you're already a Python programmer, but you're not familiar with the NumPy package or with Jupyter Notebook, you've got a choice to make. Either you can come in at the beginning of day one, or you can come in at the beginning of day two. But if you come in on day two, you're going to need to know some homework to become familiar with NumPy and Jupyter Notebook. Honestly, it's really not that big of a deal, and there are plenty of free tutorials available on the web, both for NumPy and Jupyter Notebook. But if you're not familiar with these subjects already and you want to come in the class on day two, do follow a tutorial on NumPy on the web, and do install Jupyter Notebook on your own computer and familiarise yourself with it before coming in on day two. If you jump in on day two of the training course and you're not familiar with NumPy or Jupyter Notebook, you are going to struggle. The other prerequisite for attending the practical deep learning class concerns your knowledge of mathematics. To attend this class, you definitely do not need a degree in mathematics. You do not need to be a mathematician, but there are a few mathematical prerequisites. For one thing, you mustn't be scared of mathematical notation. We won't be asking you to prove or derive any mathematical theorems. You won't have to do any original mathematics. All you have to do is to look at a, and understand a few mathematical equations. But you do need to be familiar with certain mathematical concepts. I'll just list them here for completeness. So you need to be familiar with continuous functions, linear and nonlinear functions, exponential functions, with very basic differential calculus, in particular the meaning of derivatives and partial derivatives. You'll need to know some very basic statistics. You'll need to understand the meaning of a mean, standard deviation, variance, probability, be able to understand histograms and know what a normal distribution is. And you'll need to be familiar with basic linear algebra, vectors, matrices, summation and dot product. 
But you don't need to know any of these things to very sophisticated levels. As I said, you won't have to follow or prove any mathematical theorems on this practical deep learning training class. This really is a training class for programmers and practitioners. Once again, if you're in any, any doubt as to whether you have enough mathematical knowledge, do check out the prerequisites in the course description. This particular training class, as I've already said, is based on the Python language and it makes heavy use of the TensorFlow and the Keras libraries or programming interfaces. If you're interested in learning deep learning with other libraries or frameworks, then we don't co cover any other libraries and frameworks on our public training classes, but please do ask us for further details because we may be able to use other libraries or frameworks if you'd like us to come and run training on your own site. Deep learning requires a lot of computing power. And even the, even the examples that we use on the practical deep learning training class require a lot of computing power, more computing power than you're likely to have on your own desktop machine. So we make use of powerful servers using Amazon Web Services, that is using cloud computing for this training class. In particular, we use servers that have big GPUs that allow us to run the examples on the training class in a reasonable amount of time. If you attend a public DOLOS training class, you don't need to worry about that. We'll provide all of these computing services for you. However, if you'd like us to come on site and deliver a private training class in your own company or organisation, then you must be willing to do a certain amount of IT setup so that you'll be able to connect to the cloud and access compute services in the cloud. And that may mean coordinating and talking to your IT department before you decide to buy the training class. Otherwise, you might be disappointed if we can't actually set up the right connections to the cloud during the training class. So, if you'd like any more information, do check out the details on Dulos's website, dulos.com forward slash training, where you can read all about the finer details of our practical deep learning training class, as well as all the other training classes that Dulos offer. Bye for now.